Hello and welcome to the course of Computer Network Part 2. Uh, we have been discussing about uh, multiple access protocols for last two lectures and uh, we discussed about channel partitioning protocol and uh, in, in that category we studied about TDMA and FDMA which stands for time division multiplexing and uh, uh, frequency division multiplexing. So uh, in uh, these uh, channel partitioning protocol, uh, channel is equally divided among all the users uh, for transferring the data. That division is uh, uh, very fair. Uh, due to due to that uh, division, our uh, channel partitioning protocol work well for very very high load. But uh, during low load this this uh, protocol is uh, ineffective and inefficient because uh, complete bandwidth is divided uh, among n number of uh, nodes and if nodes uh, don't have data to send that that particular slot is empty and uh, it's like the uh, it's very uh, ineffective and uh, efficiency of uh, a particular protocol during low load is very low so uh, channel partition protocol works uh, well and effectively when load is high the second type of uh, uh, protocols which we studied in multiple access uh, multiple access protocols is random access protocols in which we studied uh, pure aloha slotted aloha csma cd so uh, starting two protocols pure aloha and slotted aloha are uh, basically the basic protocols of random access uh, category in which uh, whenever a node uh, has a data or frame to send it sends it without uh, bothering about the channel without uh, whether, uh, without checking the channel so that is why we also call it random access protocols and uh, these protocols uh, work well when there is very uh, less load or low uh, it, it works very efficiently and effectively during low load because uh, if load is high there are very much chances of collision and uh, due, to, due to collision uh, the efficiency of uh, protocol uh, sinks so uh, that is why uh, random access protocols are are uh, good when we have got uh, less load as we have already seen that uh, the efficiency of pure aloha is only 18 percent and the efficiency of uh, slotted aloha is 36 uh, percent and then uh, it, it is improved uh, in csma cd because in, in that particular protocol we uh, check the channel before sending the data so that is how these protocols work and we have discussed the pros and cons of these protocols now today we are going to discuss the third type of protocol under multiple access category uh, with the name taking turn protocols and uh, we have got couple of protocols under this category the first protocol is uh, polling and uh, in in uh, polling category we have got uh, a master and uh, other nodes are considered as slave and uh, master invites all the nodes one by one in turns and uh, that is how it works you can see this uh, particular diagram master sends uh, Paul and this this particular uh, node is eligible for transferring the data in the same way it is for the third one now this one is eligible for transferring the data so that is how it works and uh, typically used with uh, dumb slave uh, devices and uh, must as i told you earlier that master node invites uh, slave nodes to transmit in turns but we have few concerns uh, with this particular protocol that uh, polling overhead is there latency is there because uh, uh, it works in turn and a single point of failure if master fails then the complete protocol uh, fails so uh, that is how taking turn protocol work and the next protocol in uh, uh, in your taking turn uh, category is token passing and uh, there's no uh, master there's no slave 
uh, all the nodes are connected in uh, ring fashion and uh, control token passed from one node to next node sequentially and whosoever is got that particular uh, token that particular node is eligible for transferring the data so it's it's very simple but again we have few concerns uh, with this particular protocol as well that token overhead again uh, latency is there and single point of failure if this particular uh, ring is broken from uh, some uh, from uh, or, or I can say any node uh, fails in this particular network again uh, it will uh, collapse so uh, that is how it uh, works and uh, we have studied the three categories of uh, multiple access protocols and uh, it is completely up to the application uh, 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 that's it for today thank you very much